the other candidates, you shouldn't be having a closed debate. She's a legitimate candidate who should be included. And so I hope that you'll re respect her right to be here. Yeah. Thank you. And if you would, if you would, don't mind leaving the stage at this point, uh, so that we can continue with this uh, well, organized I debate. Have a candidate on the ballot. Um, I have a statewide campaign. I, it, I don't understand why I'm not here. I add a lot of the discussion. The I rules were pretty much. There's been a, a very welcoming embrace of the discussion. We get a full mm -hmm. range. I think it's important for voters to understand the differences between myself and Congressman Van Hollen and Delegate Shalega. Otherwise, they don't really know. I mean, you say you're a public university and you want to, to educate the public, but without having a full public discussion, that doesn't actually happen. So how does this serve democracy or serve the public if, if I'm excluded from this discussion when I'm on the ballot? I don't... Ms. Rouse, you're going to have to leave now. It's Dr. Flowers, and I'm a candidate for U.S. Senate in Maryland. Is it, and this is how you're treating a candidate? This is how they're treating... This is what our democracy is... Can we, can we open this... Can we open this podium to her? I think it'd be reasonable. 